Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and welcome to my productivity series. I kind of started this series off like around two months ago and I haven't posted another video since. Um, a big factor to that is because I was out for around a month because I got surgery on my arm. And if you're interested in learning more about that, please check out my other vlogs. But today I'm feeling really good. Recovery has been going well. And I reserved this weekend to specifically deep clean my entire apartment. I think having a clean space is really important for me because if my space is cluttered, my mind is cluttered, you'll have probably heard me say that exact phrase verbatim so many times already, um, but it's really true. I think just being physically disabled for a couple weeks really made me cherish all of the little things that I used to be able to do by myself, like clean my house, do my own laundry, um, and stuff like that. So I'm just really excited to, yeah, clean my house. I, I don't know if anyone has ever been so excited to clean, but I am. Today is Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. I literally have nothing planned for the weekend except tomorrow I need to go on a quick trip to Flushing to run some errands, but I really just reserved this weekend to like be by myself, to get my life back together. So for today specifically, I think I want to start off by vacuuming and swiffering the floors, wash my couch covers, wash and change my bed sheets, do my laundry, do a deep clean of my bathroom. And I think those are the main tasks for today. Tomorrow, I want to repot my plant, buy some groceries. I wanna work at a cafe and do some organizing for the upcoming week. I think that's the general gist of things give and take a couple tasks here and there. Yeah, with that, let's just get started with the video. I'm easing into my day with some vacuuming. I don't know what it is about vacuuming, but it's so cathartic and I can literally do it all day. Having hardwood floors is great for cleaning, but these days I'm wondering if I should purchase a rug to make the place a bit cozier. Still deciding, so TBD. I haven't washed my sofa covers since I got the sofa back in September, so they are due for a deep cleanse. Although it's actually a real pain to take them off and put them back on, I'm really lucky that I'm able to remove them in general and give them a good wash. I love to have guests over so the couch can get dirty very quick. I hate doing laundry, so I try to exhaust all of my clothing pieces until there are no clean ones left, just so that I can do laundry less frequently. Back when I was living with my sister in college, we would used to buy the 7 for 27 panties at Victoria's Secret down the street just to push off laundry day by another week. In our defense though, it was a hassle because we lived in a walk-up and had to take our laundry a block down to get it cleaned. I have to say though, having an elevator and laundry in building is definitely a game changer. And once you have these amenities, it's really hard for you to go back.
It is a little past 3 p.m. There goes my entire day. I look terrible right now and I feel not that great. So I'm gonna go take a quick shower and then fold the rest of my laundry. I'm really particular about my bathroom. The bathroom is where you go to get cleaned, so it only makes sense to keep it spotless. My bathroom has been bothering me so much for the past month, and it felt so good to be able to give it a good scrub. After a nice hot shower, I started tackling my huge pile of laundry. I know I mentioned that I hate doing laundry, but what I hate the most about the process is actually folding it. But it needs to be done, so I grabbed myself a drink, put on a K-drama, and tried to make this process as painless as possible. For dinner, I decided to go for something quick and easy. I baked some salmon, paired it with a fried egg, and topped it off with some avocado. After dinner, I took the rest of the night to chill and relax. I wanted to put on a face mask and pamper myself a little bit, and I was also entrenched in this drama called 2521, and I couldn't stop watching it. I started my Sunday morning off by repotting my plant. I have the worst luck with plants and most of them have died on me, unfortunately. I've always wanted to be that plant mom that can grow luscious greens, but it hasn't really worked out. I got this Monstera off of Facebook Marketplace in February for $50. I named it Monsty for short, and I've been meaning to repot it into a bigger pot so that it can grow even more. It's been almost two months and it hasn't died on me yet, so, I guess I'm doing something right.
个饭团吗？然后呃，叫饭团，下次带走还是这边吃？带走。I spent the rest of the day in Flushing. I'm not sure if I disclosed this before, but I spent a good chunk of my childhood in Flushing before I moved upstate, so it always feels like home when I'm in the area. I met up with my boyfriend and grabbed a quick snack because I forgot to eat lunch, and then we headed over to a cafe to do some work. I always spend some time on the weekends organizing for the week ahead. It makes me feel more prepared. I can do it leisurely at my own time, and it helps me counter the Sunday scaries. I wanted to go over my calendar and meetings for the next week, draft up my to-do list, and wrap up some outstanding tasks for the nonprofit. After a couple of hours at the cafe, we went to get some groceries. I love getting my groceries at the Asian supermarket because everything is just so fresh and affordable. We were going to stop by my boyfriend's house for dinner, so I wanted to pick up some dessert for his family, and we ended up getting some mochi donuts. And that's a wrap for this productivity vlog. As always, thank you so much for watching, and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.